I am totally procrastinating right now because it is nearing negative 15 air temp outside and there's about a probably a 15 to 20 mile per hour wind like absolutely bitter cold so we're sitting in here in the truck with uh, the heat on drinking some warm coffee kind of uh, I don't know a little bit timid of, of venturing out here today but good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling our plan for today it's too cold to fish outside right so when we saw this forecast we're like we need a bite that we can sit inside an Eskimo ice house all day long with the heater on and be warm be comfortable because these temps combined with that amount of wind it's just you can't fish outside like it's nasty right so we were brainstorming brainstorming thoughts brainstorming ideas like where can we sit all day like you can do stock trout you can do eel pout but it's walleye time for me right it, it's it's mid-january and this is kind of our prime walleye time especially this year with uh such the the the, the bad ice that we've had so that's your plan for today is to head out here on the st louis river right here in our hometown of Duluth, Minnesota. The St. Louis River is a fantastic walleye fishery. Um, it can provide very, very good results. And what I think we're gonna try to highlight today is the, the river is notorious for an early, super early morning bite and very late evening bite, right? Like 20 minute, 45 minute periods of, of, of time, right away in the morning, right away in the evening. But what a lot of people miss out on is that midday bite like we're talking like 9 a.m to 2 p.m and that's just kind of there even 10 to 1 right that's that time that people people are getting off the ice people are moving around like there's not much going on right but if you sit still you have patience and you kind of find your spot on the spot there's fantastic fishing to to, to be had midday in very very shallow water which i think really uh it goes it goes unnoticed, right? Um, so that's your plan is to stick it out all day long. We're gonna set up the Eskimo Outbreak 650, get the heater going, get warm, get comfortable because it is bone chilling cold out there and hopefully have a fantastic day catching walleyes right here in Duluth, Minnesota. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. Season seven of Superior Angling TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Now when it's super windy and cold like this, to set up a pop-up, what you want to do is just get one ice stick in there and then your house can't blow away on you. Like so. So there's our anchor point. Now we can pop up this house and it's not gonna go flying. We good right there? There we go. You just can't win this year. It's either too hot to fish and you have bad ice or it's like numbing cold. Like this is absolutely awful. I don't, I think it's physically too cold to fish outside. So it's nice we have our outbreak 650 and we're gonna get some serious heat going. It's nice in here. All right. Dude, that's so nasty outside. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. You're gonna have to tell me where to drill because I can't see because my glasses are too fogged up. Maybe a little bit right, right there. Thank goodness for heat and our Eskimo. Yeah, getting out of that wind oh. is nice. <laughs> Insane, man. All right, we have our holes drilled, our rods out. So now our game plan for today is just a jig. You can come out here and be very, very successful with dead sticks as well, but this kind of goes in line with our with our theory here that's that's proved to be to be true lately is that just find the shallowest water that you can out here, right? There's so much like 10, 11, 12 foot depths out here around us and we're finding the shallow stuff like six seven feet and when you're in that shallow water these fish are very very aggressive you, it's rare to get lethargic fish right 
So it's nice just to hit them with a, a jig rod. It's just more fun to feel that bite, and I feel like you're gonna catch a lot more fish. So, oh, it's nice in here. Way nicer in here. <laughs> that is level 10 terrible outside. I'm glad we're not having a trout fish today. Right. It's hard for me to sit in a house all day and not move, but at least here in, in Duluth on the St. Louis River, I just, I know that's what pays the biggest dividends is just to sit and stay put and have that confidence and hopefully take advantage of, of some really good fishing. So I don't know how our morning bite's gonna be here. Some days it's hit, some days it's missed, but what's really been special lately is that is that midday bite. So we have our, our hopes high that we're gonna experience some good daytime action, very low light right now, still before sunrise. We'll see if anything moves through, but all right, this, is gonna, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking yeah, forward to it. Me too. That fish didn't hesitate, buddy. No. Look at that. Nice one, too. First walleye of the morning. Very nice. 16 incher. 16 incher. That's the a sign of life. And it is approaching, what, 8.30? Not a bad walleye. Boom. <laughs> not a bad walleye with a concussion. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, not a bad walleye. We'll get him back quick. But it's a little bit later, you know, on a, on a normal year, I would say like your peak bites over by 8.45, right? Like it's a little after 8.30 right now and that's our first fish. And that's the first fish, or it's probably second or third fish we graphed. So, but that one came in, hit it good. That's great to see, aggressive fish. That's what you want in this really shallow water. So hopefully that'll be, a, you got another one working okay. there a sign of what's to come. Get back down there. Oh, he's Ooh, this one might go, this one might go. Come on. <laughs> Start the morning off with almost a double. That'd be yeah, cool. That would be awesome. That'd be cool. It's a good mark on you, buddy. Got, got him, bud. <laughs> you got him. Yes. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's better. That is a good representation of the walleyes here on, on the river. Choked it. Yeah, he T-boned that. He's got all the hooks in his mouth. <laughs> so mad too, he just kept his mouth clenched out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Solid 17 inch fish. Oh, yeah. Perfect one to keep if you're keeping fish. Number two for the morning. Yep. It's heating up. It's heating up as that sun gets higher, more light gets down there. I don't know what it is about some days though, but it's really what we're experiencing now as that day progresses, the bite picks up and picks up, right? Kind of contrary to what most people think, but yeah, it's starting to come alive. I love it. Nice solid fish there. January, bone chilling. I don't even know what the right words are for this to describe the temperatures outside. Really cold. <laughs> really cold is, is, is appropriate. <laughs> no way. No way. Ooh, I got a good one, bud. Those fish came in at the exact same time. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. <laughs> Doubles. That's sweet, buddy. Absolute madness. Look at the size of that double. Those are like <laughs> incredible doubles, dude. Incredible doubles. There's another one on the screen, yes, too. Yes, there look is. That. Look at that. Wow. That's what you want in shallow water action. That's a great double, dude. That's an incredible double. Like, what are those, 18, 19s? Yeah, 18, 19 for sure. Chunks, too. Just out of nowhere, these fish just ambush. And the bite is heating up as that sun gets higher. Morning bite, gone, done. This does yeah. not qualify as morning bite anymore. But it's pretty slow. What do we see, three fish yeah. for the morning bite? And now, out of nowhere, come two great, great walleyes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Let's get them back. Get them back and get more. Got them. Nice. That feels heavy. That feels heavy, buddy. Good Looks head shakes. Good head shakes. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at this. Boom, baby. This is heating up. What a fish. 
what a fish out of just shallow, shallow water. I mean, I feel like so many people would be uncomfortable fishing this shallow, and it can be, right? But we just have the confidence. We've just done it for so long that shallow water produces awesome winter river time walleyes. Let's get that one back. It's getting fun. At 9, 10 o'clock hour, we're in it right now, and fishing is getting good. Oh, wow. Did That's you see fish. that? That's a good fish, dude. Oh, he crushed that one. That's a good fish. That one right there has been the average size I've been getting right there. That's a big walleye, man. It is. That's a very nice walleye. 18, 19 incher right there? Yeah, I'd say that's pushing 19. Yeah. Chunky fish too, hey? We've had so many come in that just come up and oh. look, and then that one just came up and boom. Yeah, you can tell when they're vertical and you mark them because you see like two or three marks, right? One from their head, their tail going, and you know that they're uh, tuned up and ready to uh, ready to eat. But that's a good walleye. There. Yes, that is. That's a nice, beautiful. Look at the walleye. lateral line on this one. Right. Keep him on the ice. Yeah, huh? another eater right yeah. there. Yeah. Beautiful walleye. Beautiful walleye. Shallow water, fast-paced action. Put him on the ice. Get back down there. Yeah. Oops. Got him. They, nice that happens buddy. so fast. There he is. <laughs> this is intense, intense fishing. Man, you just sit there jig, and from the time you grab them to the time you set the hook is a mere, like, quarter second. And that's another awesome walleye on the northern buckshot. Look at that. That's a solid 18, 19 inch fish. Another one. I love walleyes, buddy. Yes. Especially uh, in a river system, they fight a little harder, even right. though it's shallow, but you get, a, you get a good tug. They battle hard. They're just stocky fish, like so much fun. So much fun. Another perfect eating walleye that we're going to put on top of the ice. This is that one of those from earlier. I mean, look at that. This is that average size, right? I mean, just incredible. Great sizes. Great action. That's fun. That happens fast. Get your heart going, man. Oh, yeah. Get your heart going. But the key is just to keep your jig right next to bottom. Again, river walleyes will always be right next to bottom. They're not going to suspend. We don't have very much water clarity here. So keep these spoons, you know, six inches, a foot off bottom. And just try to make noise, make commotion down there. And you just, out of the corner of, the eye, corner of your eye, you just see a flash in your graph. And you set the hook, and it's fish on top of the ice. So let's rebait this and get back down. So much fun. So cool, man. Shallow water walleyes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the size. The average size of these fish is something special. I mean, right here in Duluth. Look at that. I mean, just a stud of a walleye. Again, as we alluded to earlier, what's nice, what's nice is this prolonged bite that we're seeing here. It's 10 o'clock, right? That's what's fun. It's always, ex it's always a bonus when you can catch walleyes beyond that 8, 30, 9 a.m. hour during the winter time. So what a fish. Let's get back down there. This is fun. All right, so what we're doing here is just using our, our Northland buckshot spoons, but just that spoon isn't enough, right? You need some bait on there. You need some food for them. So we have chub minnows. And what I like to do with these chubs is we're just using the head of these minnows, right? Sure, you could put a whole minnow on there. And, you know, most days when these fish are really active, prime time during the day, they're going to eat it, right? But days like today, it's cold out. It's really high pressure. Like these fish are a little, a little bit more negative than they usually are. Um, you got to kind of dot your I's and cross your T's. So we're using a minnow, just the head. And when I hook it, I like to hook it from the top down and then pinch off the head like that so we're driving that hook down through the top of the head out through the jaw versus out through the jaw out through the top of the head going from the top down this stays on there a lot better the last thing you want to do when you have a fish come in is to be jigging there and visibly watch your minnow head fall off your spoon 
that fish isn't gonna hit, right? We've all seen it, we've all done it. Hook that minnow from the top down and it's gonna stay on your hook a lot, lot better. So that's what we're doing. You don't want to just sit down there and just keep that jigging cadence, try to call those fish in, make noise with these buckshots, stir up that bottom a little bit. You know, these buckshots have an internal rattle in them. That combined with the glow, you know, you do all you can to attract these walleyes in. So let's get back down there. All right, if we're gonna sit here all day, we need to uh, we need to eat some food. And are you hungry? I'm hungry. Oh yeah, I could eat some. Can always eat. We have fresh walleye sitting right there. I brought stuff for tacos, and I also brought Field and Flame blackened seasoning. So how do some blackened walleye tacos sound? Sounds really good. Awesome. We got to do something. It's hard for me. It's hard for me to sit here all day and not uh, not move around. So this is gonna give us a little change of pace. We're gonna cook up some delicious food. Have a walleye lunch on the ice with field and flame black and seasoning i love it let's get after it all right we have our fresh walleye fillets it doesn't get any more fresh than that caught maybe in the last half hour 45 minutes some other ingredients for our fish tacos, taco shells obviously. We have a little bit of sour cream. We have some cilantro. We have a lemon and an avocado. And lastly, we have our Field and Flame blackened with salt, paprika, garlic, onion, pepper, basil. This has the good stuff in it. So what we're gonna do is kind of pan sear our walleye fillets on our Camp Chef stove here in the Field and Flame blackened seasoning. Get them nice and toasted up, nice and crispy. Get a little bit of char on our blackened seasoning. Put them in the taco, it's gonna be good. lime juice and that there is a field and flame blackened walleye taco avocado cilantro sour cream fresh walleye in a taco shell in the eskimo ice house when it is a bone chilling probably 20 below outside mm. absolutely deadly so good i love that blackened especially when you cook it a little bit hot. It really enhances that flavor. It doesn't get any better than this. Duluth walleye, some walleye tacos for lunch. Incredible fishing, even better food. I would say the food is probably better than the fishing, and the fishing is pretty dang good. Dude, <laughs> this is insane. Oh, that's awesome. Look Another at, nice one. Look at here. that fish. Oh. Look at that fish, buddy. What a wall. Yeah, bonus fish at 1230 in the <laughs> afternoon. This is what we're talking about, that midday bite that so many people miss out on. Right? Yeah, another stout fish. I mean, they're geez, so chunky. 18, 19 inch fish right? again. Absolute beautiful walleye. Yeah. Beautiful walleye. He's so mad, just clinched down there right. still. <laughs> and you got a little bit bigger of a spoon on yep, here. I've got a little bigger one. Kind of looks like a shine earlier. Yeah, it's long and slender. This fish ate that good. Open up here, buddy. Yeah, he came in no hesitation and just crushed it. Right. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, that's a Buster's using a bigger, slender style profile spoon. Hey, that just shows you. Most days, you know, you can't go wrong, right? When these fish come up here, they're in such shallow water. They're so aggressive, so hungry. They're going to hit whatever you have down there. But what we always say is use what you have confidence in. That's what you got. Me and that uh, Super Glow Buckshot are jiving right now, but it doesn't really seem to matter. That's a gorgeous walleye. Yes, it is. Wow. What a fish. Yes. High noon. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We'll put him on the ice, and we're probably approaching our our limit there out here on the river, two walleyes per person. Have to be over 15 inches, but these are just perfect eaters. Hey? Oh yeah, right in our backyard too. Right, I know, so cool. Such a such a special fishery. 
that is a blast and that just goes to show you you never know what to expect out here especially midday it's uh it's fun nice yeah work. heck yeah boom here comes one <laughs> he did not hesitate look at this he's choked it oh, that northland buckshot spoon see ya it's like, gone gone <laughs> gone i'm glad we can keep one more because yeah. that is in the gills wow one o'clock one o'clock when like there's so many people walking out getting off the ice like no one expects walleyes to bite right now and yeah. this is a truly fantastic bite we're seeing yeah, I mean, 12 12 to 1 has 12 just been to fire one. dude it's incredible <laughs> Oh, we should have slept in until like yeah. 11, gone to Perkins, <laughs> no, no doubt. got some pancakes. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah, good thing that's our last one. Oh, he, right? He's not gonna going to make it. Back. Look at that. I mean, I can't believe how aggressive that fish was at a time where you would... I need pliers. I don't even know if I have any <laughs> on us. Surgery. I broke it off. We're going to have to uh, have to get that hook out. But, I mean, just that... Did you see that? Ah, yeah. How did that just happen? <laughs> that went right down the hole. <laughs> that hook was buried in its mouth, in its gills. It broke off. Like, it was stuck. Yeah. Was... The fish flopped once, and my Northland buckshot spoon goes right down the hole. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make it up sometimes, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> Absolutely zero. Yeah. Like it could have landed anywhere else except it landed right, right in the, in the hole. hole. <laughs> Good thing we got more. But there, that is the reward. A nice 17 inch walleye here midday in Duluth, Minnesota. I don't know. This, this body of water just continues to uh, surprise you, man. Yeah. You never know what it has in store. And great fishery it's a special fishery that's cool that's pretty cool let's get this one on the ice let's tie a uh well first we've got to find a new super glow white buckshot and tie that back on and get back down because <laughs> there's more fish to be caught all right buddy we've seen a couple fish now and nothing has bitten and i am sure glad we stuck it out all day long so if you came out here specifically for the morning and or the evening bite yeah. It would have been a tough day. It would have been a grind. <laughs> right? So we were very, very fortunate to experience that good midday bite, which is absolutely phenomenal. You know, this river, sy river system gets a, a bad rap, you know, just being such an early morning and late evening bite with absolutely nothing to do during the day. But, hey, today that was, uh, was totally different, and we experienced some fantastic, fantastic fishing. So... I think we are going to put on the jacket and gloves. <laughs> make our journey and, back. Yeah, make the, the polar expedition trek oh, back, to the, back to the truck <laughs> because that wind is ripping outside and temps are very, very cold. But before we go, mark of the calendar is February 10th, 5 to 9 p.m. at Clyde Avenue, Clyde Ironworks in Duluth. We are hosting a cancer benefit with the Catch Your Moment Foundation where there will be a film and a raffle with some fantastic prizes. We hope everyone can attend. The event is free to free to free to show up, right? Just walk in the door. If you guys want, you can buy raffle tickets, $20 um, for, for our main raffle. We'll have some smaller raffles going on as well. Um, but yeah, again, the event is free. Just walk on in the door. We're going to have a fun time, 5 to 9 p.m. February 10th at Clyde Ironworks in Duluth. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.